But yeah, I don't know. It always amuses me when people, like, threaten to sue me for various things. Because... It doesn't happen very often. What was the one that somebody had sued me? I had a developer I had said something mean, mean about, and they threatened me with legal action. I just deleted the video. I was like, this isn't worth it. Let's see. So it's the powerful transmitter tuned into Artemis. Yeah, they didn't like the fact that I had done a Let's Play video of their game. And so I was just like, well, this video is going away. Because you're just going to DMCA me, and that's not going to be any fun. Uh, did it work? It did, like, signal match, and then it gave up. Maybe I have to sit here and wait. Oh, access logs. Lazensky. Brasmanga ik... Blah, 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 blah. That's... None of this is useful. What am I supposed to... Do? Wait, I'm supposed to go over there? I am very confused about this. I think I might also see if I can turn out the... Graphic settings. Oh, Alex Holica did the Night in the Woods OSD, and Chris Schwitzer did Starbound OSD, and a few others. Then I have heard of both of them and listened to them a lot. Okay, uh, let's see if I can turn out the graphic settings, because it does feel like this is a bit chunky right now. Uh, oh, yeah. Looks like everything just got reset up to max. I'm just going to turn it down to medium. Oh, yeah. I'll turn whatever I can down to medium. Why is Artemis out there? Well, considering it's on the opposite side of the planet, we might as well get away from here. Oh, what what game was the one that the devs were threatening legal action? I will admit, this was a game that I got off of Itch.io, like, a long time ago. Um, so they, they specifically put it on Itch.io, uh, to make some money. I think it was, like, five, ten bucks. Um, and I had gotten a free copy of it through the Itch.io press page. Apparently, there was an NDA for press people, uh, that if you didn't buy it, you couldn't actually make a video on it for some reason. And since it was in, in development, there was, like, other limitations, like, you can't show all this stuff, even though technically it's publicly available for any anybody to buy. And he didn't want me showing off the fact that his game was kind of bad. Uh, because it crashed a lot and I made fun of it. I mean, super samey story all the time. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I tend to try and pick the friendly developers, because if somebody is going to be mean or spiteful, then they're j it's just not worth having a working relationship with them. Even if they're rude, I'd, I just don't want to deal with it. Rude people... Yeah, what the hell? We we went to a hollow terminal, which told me to go to another hollow terminal. That... What? That's confusing. Yeah, okay, I think I'm going to have to restart my game. I think the most recent patch reset the graphic settings. Because it's not as... Well, there might actually be another player on this planet. Though, I find it unlikely. I'm just noticing the performance is, uh, craptastic again. Oh, he's just here. Hey, Artemis, how's it going? Use the mind arc. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury. Some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh. Restored to life before my eyes. But it's not to be. One moment I see the hologram, and the next, there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. Their signal's still active. The travelers were a dream. An idea that we would meet and become more than ourselves. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo too. Though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. There are more of us than you know, my friend. Walking these worlds, yearning for friendship... No one wants to be alone, not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest, se the deepest secret of the universe is not of the glass, or the aerons, or the progenitors. It is the final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, Traveler. Your friends wait for you. They will bring you... Uh, they will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. Okay. I'm very confused.
Well. I guess first and foremost, let's hop in my ship and hop out. And then I'm going to quickly restart the game so I can turn down the graphics settings. Because it's not, it's not running smoothly. And I think I need just a little bit more smoothness out of this. Otherwise, it's just going to make me annoyed. Actually, it did also have a, uh, a developer threaten me once for not promoting their game. That was interesting. I'd, like, expressed interest in covering their game, and then they'd kind of gone radio silent on me. And then, um... And then, like, a little while later, uh, I got an email from them. It was just super angry, being like, you know, how dare you lead us on like that? And why haven't you done a video on our game yet? And I'm just like, I just got busy. Like... I was going to cover your game if you had sent it to me right away, but it took him like three months to send me a copy. And, oh, wow. Thanks, Mango, for the bits. Um, But, you know, then they got back to me during like the busiest, one of the busiest periods on YouTube for me. And I'm just like, look, I can't cover your game. And they're like, we're going to like go on Twitter and like threat uh, and like expose you and how like, you know, uh, how you uh, exploit developers, and I'm like, what? And then they never did, and then I was pretty okay with that. Okay, looks like uh, it's smooth now. That's good. I haven't had a whole lot of developers threaten me. I, I think it's because, uh, like, a lot of this stuff is back when uh, YouTube was kind of first starting out. I think people are, are starting to get used to uh, used to the existence of people like me. So I think I might turn the uh, the textures back up for next time, but I think I might leave the uh, shading and the effects down. Because this is a lot smoother for whatever reason. It's good music. I mean, it's always good music. So what's this? No, that's not useful. Ah! Whoa! Polo! Halt stranger, who goes there? We're heading for your position. Identify yourself or there will be consequences. We aren't bluffing. We are not liar, Gek. Come on, Polo, we've met before. The entity appears hostile, but despite their promise of consequences, I suspect that they're indeed bluffing. They do not look like a warrior, nor does my ship warn me of incoming danger. Identify myself. I identify myself as a traveler in search of assistance, causing the Gek to squint at their communicator, communicator screen. They appear to, have, to be uncertain whether to trust me. After a moment's pause... The Gek informs me they will arrive at my location soon. They hope that I come in peace. I'm actually kind of really disappointed that they didn't rewrite some of this uh, to account for the fact that some people played this game before these quests got added. Like, I think it would be really cool if, like, Polo actually uh, had extra dialogue being, like, actually recognizing me. As opposed to this, like, really awkward, like, we've met but we haven't met the, uh, thing because the, you know, they, they didn't actually add, um... Uh... How do we get in here? Maybe through this one? It's probably through this one. Yeah, there we go. I don't know, I think it would just be cool if, uh, if they, like, referred to me as an Elder Traveler or something. Nope, that's that's not it. We're going really so back. They did not design this segment well, and I've always kind of hated trying to get onto uh, space anomalies. I think this is the red entrance. Yeah, this looks like it. So the age-old question. Uh, I'm gonna have to scroll up for this one. It had gone by. It's being asked about YouTube uh, YouTube advice. Let's see if I can find it. I think it's been a little while. Okay, sorry, I just wanted to find this proper question so I could re respond to it. Okay, there we go. So tips on how to start a YouTube channel. Uh, if you've never done it before and you don't know any of the like uh, process and you're kind of bad at computers, you're in for a rough time, I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. Computer, like, you wouldn't think that this is a very computer-intensive job, but, like, the sheer amount of, like, tech support and nonsense that I have to do 
uh, for this is kind of nuts. Um, that said, if you're actually like committed to giving you a go, that's a goofy looking gun. Um, I mean, really, the the only tip I can always give is just start. I also did a video on it, so go find my video. Is it Traveler? Is it first or last? Pleasure, regardless. I'm Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. But entities must keep secrets, yes? The electronic being stares at me from their dark mask. I cannot escape the feeling that we have somehow met before. Yeah, he, he's parked above my base. He's literally parked above my base. The entire station sings with a strange and unnerving frequency. Nada tells me that we stand in this place between worlds, in the heart of the anomaly. They explain they received a signal summoning them to the system on a hidden frequency. Tell Nada about your journey. I tell Nada that I'm a traveler searching for help, that I went through a portal as I tried to rescue a friend. At the mention of the portal, the lights on Nada's mask begin to stutter. What did travelers say? Repeat portal. Explain that I activated a portal and went through. Nada appears terrified. What did the traveler encounter within the breach? Did it see you? Did the Atlas find you? Please, you must not go back. Nada becomes, becomes more frightened as I tell them about my encounter with the Atlas terminal. They begin to scan me with their visor, looking for signs of something they call rampancy. Eventually satisfied by the scan, Nada calms down. They ask why I've come here. Tell Nada about Artemis. I tell Nada that I carry the remains of a traveler named Artemis, an explorer who lost their life attempting to find others of their kind. I'm about to explain the nature of the mind arc. When Nada touches it directly, the lights on their mask burning more brightly than ever. It is Echo. I... I never thought to see a traveler's soul. You are so beautiful. Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. Traveler, we can we can help them, but there's a choice. Artemis Echo will never have a body again, will never explore again, old life gone. You must choose, upload them to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end suffering. Ask about the simulation. Ask what life would be like inside the simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me that Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but they, if they should learn of their fate, that they would be alone. That they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends. Such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose. Okay, same thing. Ask if there's another way. Nada shakes their head strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. You must choose. Upload them to submachine. Uh, to machine subsimulation where they may live on or help... Okay, we've decided. Go and speak with Polo Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter what your decision. Okay. Nada told me what you need to do, just... No, new friend, that we support you no matter what you choose. The anomaly has many rooms and many secrets. One of these is open to me. A dormant machine now activated. Oh. This one? Well, what do you guys think I should do? End his suffering, or... Turn him into a simulation. Priest entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation 5 activated. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. As I stand before it, Nada tells me of its origin, how a thousand entities died rescuing it from the obliteration of Korvax Prime. It is the simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered to the Atlas. Nada will not explain how a simulation would act as a prayer, but this machine, the single false solar system, it will act as a home for Artemis, should I wish it. I think I'm gonna upload him. It feels weird not to. Maybe? I don't know. It just... It... I mean, are there consequ consequences? Does it matter?
I mean, it looks like most people are going with end his suffering. It feels weird. Because ultimately, it, he doesn't matter. He is, he is just a digital entity already. Sure. I tell not of my choice. They take the mind arc and begin to manipulate the device with their silicon fingers. The lights on their visor dancing as they move. Soon the priest entity is ready. They whisper a prayer as they twist the midpoint of the arc, releasing the traveler's soul within. I witness a spark of blue light blaze within the air before me. It fades after a moment, and with it the last of last remnant of Artemis within this world. Nada tells me that it is done. Artemis is at peace now. They wish me luck in my journey, telling me not to dwell on these moments. They tell me that I did the right thing. Oh yeah, Polo, got anything for me? You did what you had to, friend. Traveler, Artemis is free of pain now, if you can say the same. So these guys are specifically story, kind of. Artemis Echo has been disconnected, free from a cruel life. You've done well, Traveler. Your guilt, it is a sacrifice for the one you called friend. Go on without regrets. Well, let's go back to Null. Uh, if, if we can, we got stuck there for a second. Hey, I'm just curious why we couldn't, like, put him into a robot body much like the other guy that we had run into. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see. So here we go. Oh, hi. Apollo, are you receiving? The whole terminus is showing. Available again. Your signal was thought you were gone. It is a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we had not spoken in a long time. Explain. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best as I can. The gateway, the strange planet, a vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It's just a dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw the Atlas itself. We've seen him repeatedly. You, you saw it. You met the Atlas? These species, the Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought... Are you all right? I can't imagine what you've gone through. It was just a machine. I tell Apollo of the things that the Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels as if we were protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me. It felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not concepts at all. Oh, not real concepts at all. Oh, at least it didn't harm you. And I think, I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of this atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinel Nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Say there are more important things. I suggest we have bigger things to worry about. The atlas felt hostile, inexplicable in its motives and purpose, not to mention all that has happened since. I tell Apollo of Artemis's grave and my encounter with the mysterious traveler, Null. I suggest there is more going on than the opportunity to earn units. Artemis is dead? I... I don't... How? Who would... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared, they believed, and I... What happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if I can. Tell them of your choice. I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explained that I could not do it. It would not have been life, just an empty existence within the simulation. I had to allow Artemis to find peace in death. Ask if this was right. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you are a good friend. I have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Final monolith. Search for patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. Well, we got a ley line. If we just zoom around for a little while. I like the story mode of this game. It's... 
not necessary not necessarily the best but it's not bad like it's actually kind of engaging in its own right oh we're going all the way around here okay Yeesh. Whenever I'm flying, sometimes I'll just pop, uh, grab my phone to see if I've gotten any new emails. And I'm just getting, like, half a billion. Um. Oh, just nothing useful. Bunch of new indie games are coming out over the next, like, week or so. And it's starting to become a little bit, um, problematic. I've, I've got so many games to cover, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover them all. Uh, I gotta stop. Nope. Well, all right, we're good. I don't know. It's always a challenge, and the problem is I've got like a bunch of really, I've got a bunch of like rather long. If this is a cool ass planet, or at least this section of the planet, the like, the like fog kind of rolling out, I like it. Okay, how we do this? There we go. Anomaly, anomaly, anomaly. I see the stone of the monolith. It's immovable muted silver, and yet something lurks beneath. It is gray and yet not gray, a crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate a portal. Okay, Leyland link detected. Tra tracing to source. All the way over there. Where is Absolver on the list of new games coming out? It's not. So, uh, seeing as Absolver... Uh, is kind of a popular thing. I like the idea... Wait, are we, like, right next to it? No, it's on the other side of the planet. Um, I like the idea of Absolver, but from what I heard, it's more of kind of a multiplayer, like, competitive thing. And for me, that is actually so much of, like, an antithesis of what I usually do uh, that it just isn't going to work for me. Uh, I play games with long campaign modes or short campaign modes uh, that, you know, have some substance to them. And from what I've heard from uh, uh, people about Absolver, it's more of a, a super short, uh, it's like a four hour tutorial. And that's not kind of, the, that's not quite the thing that I'm like really interested in. I'm much more interested in, you know, Dauntless, Divinity Original Sin 2, Destiny. All games that can be kind of beaten. Tra charge the glyphs to enable the portal. Charge all of them? Huh. All of them? I guess so. Gets pricey. Hope I don't have to do this very often. I mean, luckily I've got enough of everything. We'll have to go get some more chrysanite at some point, but that's okay. Traveler capture... Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I'm unsure if I should listen. Request the planet's address. I'm going to just take a screenshot whenever we get an address. I don't even know how this works. Do we do it? What are my objectives? Contact Apollo at a hollow terminus. Ah. Nah, fuck it. Going through the portal. Ah. I was hoping that I'd actually be able to go through the portal. Can I? Did I? Okay, no. We were just supposed to get the address. Okay. Oh, that's fine. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't do well with PvP games. Um, I just don't have time for them. Because generally with like a PvP game, you're required to like uh, kind of constantly be playing it and practicing it and like improving and stuff like that. Um, 
Whereas for me, like, I'm, I'm much more about, like, yeah, I guess improving over the course of a game. That's, that's definitely true, but, like, okay, let's see. Do we have, we do. We have Hollow Terminus somewhere over there. Uh, with, like, single-player games, for example, yeah, I improve over the course of them, but then they're done. And anything that's, like, inherently a competitive multiplayer thing never has an ending. It's just inherently a loop. Works well with, like, party games like Golf or, or Ultimate Chicken Horse or, you know, Gary's Mod, where I can pick it up and put it down whenever. But with stuff like uh, Absolver, if you're doing a series on one of those games, um, people kind of expect you to actually have, like, the base level competency for it. I actually had this problem specifically with, um... I, I had this problem with a PvE game. Uh, I was trying to play Path of Exile, because I thought, hey, this is going to be really fun. And, I mean, for starters, a lot of people just didn't really like the series, uh, for one reason or another. But I got a lot of people specifically telling me, uh, they didn't want to watch my playthrough because I was, like, too shit at the game. That, you know, I needed to go practice the game and actually be good at it before... Uh, they'd be willing, be willing to watch me, at which point I was just like, well, scratch that. Like, I, I don't, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want to be one of those people where it's just like, I have to be a master of a game before I play it. That's, that's why I play games like this, where, it, like, who gives a shit if I'm good at, or bad at this game? Apollo Terminus activated, multiple signal sources available. Tower, yeah, it's the same thing, tune into Apollo. Oh, I think... I've never actually looked at Apollo's full body. <laughs> he looks kind of stupid. I mean, he looks cool. I love the design for him. I think it's mainly just the weird feet. And his, like, little, like, nye, nye hands. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded. My stomach is full. And I've hired a Gek to look after my farm while I'm away. Ask about the farm. Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much. Mostly fruit I found on my travels. But I'm hoping to expand. Anyway, this is of no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? As I look at Apollo, I think of what I saw within the portal. Of what happened to Artemis when they walked the same path. And I think of the face of Atlas. Of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Hmm. Sure. Let's give Apollo the glyphs. We're not going to find anything if we don't venture forward. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care and to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out whether, uh, what I can from this so-called null. They warn me to be careful, too. Alright. Let's tune into null if I can. That's really awkward. No incoming calls. Access logs from previous calls? I assume I can't... Yeah, it's the same one. Can't read it. It's probably because I can't speak Traveler very well. Which is kind of weird nonsense if you think about it. Alright, so... Oh, I'm probably supposed to call Null on my ship. It's confusing. Sometimes I, like, can call them on my ship and other times I have to call them from, like, a hollow terminus. It's never really made a whole lot of sense to me. Does Wander choose the games he plays, or does he get paid to do it? Uh, I choose. I choose everything. I generally actually dislike uh, sponsored series. Is it just telling me to go back? You mother crapper. Well, it's not like it really matters. He was at the to hollow terminus. Oh, is he just standing there and I like totally missed it? I didn't see him there, but I, I didn't look very hard. 
Oh, that's okay. Holy crap, that's a big dinosaur. That is a big... <laughs> Whoop, gun! I mean, I assume it went up the hill, but like... Oh, damn, that was... That was some animation. And now I'm stuck inside this thing. Well, he's gone. Um, but no, I, I don't like sponsored series. Uh, they make me feel really awkward. The only sponsored series I would do is a sponsored series a series sponsored for a game that I'm already planning on playing, if that makes sense. So, uh, I mean, if the developers of this game said like, hey, we'll pay you to keep doing your series, I would straight up do it. Where the hell is Artemis? Is he just here? Is he not here? Do I have to interact with this? I might actually have to reload out of the game because I think it broke it. Yeah, let's go with that option. I think I think it busted. Cause like I don't I don't want I actually get quite a lot of uh sponsorship requests, actually. Uh and I don't even want to like brag on this. I just do. Let's go out to mode select and maybe that'll ref Fresh it. Otherwise, I might have to go elsewhere. Read the logs. I already read the logs. There's nothing there. Um, but like, I get I get requests to like promote a collectible card game or a, a mobile game or more mobile games. It's mostly mobile games, honestly. Um, and like the thing is, I can't in good conscious like prom consciousness promote that kind of thing because none of the games look good to me. I I. I will watch other YouTubers, like, play X, like, kind of free-to-play MMO, and they'll, like, try and hype it up and be like, ah, this is the best thing ever, and I'm like, it doesn't look like you're actually having fun, it just looks like you're paid to look like you're having fun. That always feels really weird to me. There you are. Two travelers, one who cared too much, and one who cared too little. The universe is not what you thought it would be, is it? What you felt was promised? Don't feel bad. Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt this way at some point. I know I did, once upon a time. I was angry, confused in my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh! I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals. But whatever you did, I am here now, and I need your help. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Sure. There's an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There, there we will find the first secret, I'm sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than air or the wind that might be called such names, but it is terrified. It is in pain, and we have the responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. That's interesting. Two pairs of headphones show off. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the only products that I, I would like actively um, advertise would be products not related to the thing, like things I do. Like for example, if, uh, I, I mean, I guess I tried Loot Crate for a little bit, but honestly my channel is kind of bad for sponsored content to begin with. Um, but like, if for example, Maybe not Audible. The problem is like Audible, which is a sponsor for a lot of people. I don't, I don't know if I'd actually recommend their service just because I don't know if it's a good deal. But like, if NatureBox tried to like sponsor me, I'd probably be like, hell yeah, your snacks are delicious, expensive but delicious. Like fucking Whole Foods, but I don't think I need to advertise Whole Foods for anybody. I really like this music, right now. Okay, let's see what this guy has. Okay, in one of the fragments of a complex equation are made so whole and solved. No another number is boosted, added and multiplied. Let's go with the solved equation. Oh, they healed me. Well, that's not helpful in the slightest, and it doesn't look like there's anything cool here either. But, standing with Corvax went up. That's always useful. The observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station manned by a Gek specialist. The Gek, a translator, was accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as punishment, but from the logs it appears that this posting was the making of them. 
They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist, and events that did not happen. The Gek, Specialist Polo, went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Corvac still on board. They never returned. Is this how N Nada and Polo met? Oh. Is that how my friends found each other? There is a signal on the console, a warning on repeat, 16 short bursts of data on loop. Extract the coordinates. Extract the coordinates for the distress signal. A crashed vessel, a crashed vessel awaits me on another world.